life right, cause it can't miss. All about the game, that's a cold swish. Serving up the truth, call it ruthless. Tune in and get your fix from Blake and Fish Sports. And Blake, we know that your Packers are reportedly his number one destination. I saw that the Saints are the most likely team to get him. Then I saw that today that the Patriots are making a big push. So let's take all the variables into this, right? Which team fits? Uh, what? How Odell Beckham's playing? Um, what team's the best fit for Odell Beckham? Uh, what team Odell uh, fits best for Odell Beckham? And what team Odell Beckham fits best? Where do you think he should go? I think the number one answer is um, the team with, the man, the new quarterback, Mac Jones and the Patriots. I think it makes too much sense. It, it just does make too much sense. Here's why. <clears throat> this offseason, they, they signed a couple tight ends. They signed some receivers. And we thought their offense would be new and improved, right? And, <laughs> well, the tight ends haven't really been as good as their contracts say Hunter Henry's been scoring touchdowns but I, I don't think the yardage is there and what they thought they could get out of them isn't is what they thought um they should Nelson Aguilar is looking like a slight overpay at this point they don't have just a dominant offensive player they run the ball pretty well uh they have a lot of good running backs Damian Harris from Andre Stevenson but they just don't have that guy that can just win them a game on offense it's very methodical moving the ball no deep threat and I think Odell fits that profile perfectly he's a true alpha number one receiver he he works best when he's just getting a ton of value and I think he could with this Patriots offense I really do he's great at slants great at going deep really would be good in the play action game too so I don't see the issue with bringing him in maybe the personality clash with Belichick and Odell um I feel like the Patriots are kind of more stoic. They don't really show that much emotion, or at least that's how it seemed um, over the past like 20 years. So Odell would kind of be a little different from that, but they've they've made it work in the past. They had Gronk, they had Randy Moss. Both those guys have big personalities and they somehow made it work. I think they could do it with Odell. Um, I, I, I think the Patriots really are the best spot. And we keep, we've talked about this too with the Patriots. Is they don't have that guy that can go down the field and everyone's like, oh, why is Mac Jones throwing so many check downs and this and that? And we've always said, well, who are they going to throw it deep to? Nelson Aguilar? I don't know if he's the best deep threat for them, but I think Odell's a pretty good deep threat, and I think he would be a great solution for the Patriots offense. And a team that has bounced back recently, um, I think they're 5-4 and four right now or in that 500 area, so they're teetering towards Three the playoffs. Kind of where we thought they would be, but – but I really do think Odell would be such a good fit for this team with lacking that true number one receiver. <clears throat> yeah, and they're really three games away from being eight and one because really the Dallas game, they lost more than Dallas beat them. The Bucks game, they basically lost that game, in my opinion. I thought they really were the better team throughout that game. And then the Miami game, Damian Harris, if he doesn't fumble the ball at the five yard line, New England would kicks an easy go ahead game winning field goal and wins that game. So really New England's competed in every game. They've been a good football team all year. And I'm 1,000% with you. So I, I think in theory, right, I like the fit of Green Bay, right? It's a similar offense to what he came from with the Browns. He could be the number two receiver to Devontae Adams. I think he feels or fits a real need. And Aaron Rodgers is the perfect quarterback who has full autonomy of the drop back pass game. And, you know, he can alert if he sees the right matchup and get the ball to Odell Beckham. So I think in all of that, if you theorize it from that standpoint, um, Green Bay does make sense, but I actually think New England's the better fit. I think he fits New England's offense really well. You brought up, they've managed big personalities. I'm glad you brought up Gronk because that is a big personality they manage. Of course, Randy Moss. Um, There's a few others over the years. They've always taken risks with guys that have had been perceived to have, you know, locker room issues or whatever those are. Um, But I think he fits from the standpoint of he's really good short and intermediate still. You know, maybe he's lost a little bit of explosion because of the injuries, but I still think he can get down the field and he can definitely get down the field better than uh, both Kendrick Bourne and Nelson Aguilar. I think he fits with exactly what they're looking for. I think the one thing is, you know, he may not get as many targets because they will be a run heavy offense. But I think when the target, when they're looking to throw the ball and got to have it situations, he automatically becomes their go to guy because that's what I think they're missing right now. You talked about it, right? They're a methodical offense. They have a phenomenal run game. Ramondre Stevenson and Damian Harris are unbelievable, and they run block really well. 
they're just missing something in the pass game that can make things easy for Mac Jones, where Mac Jones doesn't have to be right uh, making every correct decision on every 10-yard pass every single game, where you can throw, you know, Odell Beckham a six-yard slant and he can take one for 15, 20 yards and run after the catch. And I think that's where it fits perfectly. I think he would be perfect for Mac Jones from that standpoint. But I don't think they'll end up getting him. I do think he'll end up signing with a Green Bay type team. I don't think he wants to take the risk with the young quarterback the way he did with Baker Mayfield. He's 29. His career is teetering. He's got to show something before he ultimately will enter free agency again this offseason. So while I do think, in my opinion, in your opinion, New England's where he should go, I, I think he'll end up probably with your Packers. And if he ends up with your Packers, I will be cheering for it. I'm still a big Odell Beckham fan. I don't want to cheer for the team that you're cheering for, but I'll probably end up cheering for them to win the Super Bowl if Odell Beckham goes there. Yeah, and it's – I mean, I said the Patriots, but I think the Packers, you could put them 1A, 1B, because with the Packers, it also just makes so much sense. They're missing a true dominant number two. You remember even the past decade, I mean, they've had tons of – they've always had at least like two to three great receivers. Jordy Nelson, Greg Jennings, James Jones was pretty good for them. Jermichael Finley – uh, Donald Driver a long, long time ago. And they've always been better when they've had two really good guys. And right now they only really have one. Robert Tunyon's on IR, and even then I wouldn't qualify him as a great number two. MVS is a pretty good deep burner, but outside of that he's limited. Lazard's a good run-blocking receiver, but he's not someone you're counting on time and time again. And Randall Cobb's just up there in age. Your best receiver, your second best receiver is probably Aaron Jones at this point. And I don't think they utilize him in the passing game as much as they potentially could because he is a really good receiver and he's shown that, but he is a running back and he is in a timeshare with AJ Dillon, who they both are getting a lot of touches. So I, I really think the Packers would also make a ton of sense. And he, him on slants from Rodgers is just, that just sounds dangerous. I, I cannot even imagine what that would be, both having both Devontae and Odell. Yeah, I'm 1,000% with you, right? Like, I think, in theory, New England's kind of the perfect spot because I think New England needs him more than any of these other teams. And I think New England, he would, he kind of needs New England because New England would give him structure. But I also think New England would ensure that, you know, like, there's going to be games if he goes to Green Bay and if he's not playing well, they're just going to leave him out of the game plan because they can go to Devontae Adams. New England, basically what they're missing is Odell Beckham Jr. They need that style mm -hmm. of guy to be that guy. So there's not going to be a game unless he really, you know, there's these locker room issues with them or whatever are really a big deal because I, I still don't know what they are because they've all been refuted by teammates. So I don't know what the actual issue is. So let's say those things are a real thing, then maybe he gets cut from there. But otherwise, they would be the team that would, you know, try and force feed him because they're missing a true go-to receiver. Kendrick Bourne's a really solid number two or number three receiver. He's consistent. He gets open. But he's not a guy where third and eight with the game on the line. Where is New England going to go with the football? It's not Jadu Smith. It's not Hunter Henry. It's not Aguilar for sure. It's not Bourne. That guy would be Odell Beckham. And they're going to play in big games down the stretch because they're vying for that playoff spot. So... To me, and Mac Jones has shown that he's very accurate and he's very good from the pocket and he can make really good decisions from the pocket, really impressive decisions, honestly. So I, I think from all those reasons, I'm with you that New England should be the place he goes, but I, I do think it ends up being Green Bay just as you do. And for the same reasons, I do think it's still a good fit with uh, Green Bay, but I think New England makes the most sense for both parties. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I don't think, I think this is a two-headed race between these two. I don't see I, – personally, I, I just don't see Vegas. Like, I get it. They need a deep ball guy because Ruggs is gone. They signed Deshaun Jackson. I don't get it. They have so many – I mean, I don't I don't want to say they're great options, but they have solid pass catchers. Beside, like, you do have Renfro. You have Waller. Maybe Brian Edwards turns out to be something good. They have Josh Jacobs. Me, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's not the guy the type I, of guy they need. I'm 100% with you, and I don't – given all the noise around Vegas, right, with the Arnett situation that was weird, the um, rug situation was obviously awful. Like, you feel for that family that lost somebody, and, and you feel bad for Henry Ruggs, too. Like, he made one terrible, terrible mistake, and now his entire life is gone. But um, I, I just think that uh, – bringing Odell back up in with all of that, I don't think that's what they're He's trying to do right now. Like, 
like they're trying to cut all they're trying to basically clean up after going through the Gruden situation, the rug situation, down the Arnett situation. I don't think Mike Mayock's the type of guy that wants to bring Odell Beckham into that. To me, that makes no sense. Last time they tried to get a really good receiver like this, they got Antonio Brown. AB, right? Who yeah. He had an interesting offseason, although we must say we need we I think as NFL fans, we owe an apology to him because we deemed him as insane. And he was actually right about a lot of the things that were wrong. He was right about Big Ben, that's for sure. He was right about Big Ben. He was somewhat right about – I don't think he was a fan of Gruden or Mayock. I don't know. But he Yeah, he called Mayock a pretty derogatory term, yeah. (laughs) Um, And then, yeah, the other thing is – with did the other thing is, funnily enough, when they asked Bruce Arians about Odell, if they would put a waiver claim, he said, I thought what he said was clever because it had two meanings. He said, I have too many letters. I already have AB. I don't want to add OBJ. But I, I think the way he said it right was like, well, we just don't, I don't want to call people by like the letter dictates, but he kind of nailed it where we already have one guy that we got to, um, you know, satisfy an AB. We don't want to add one more big ego in there. I wouldn't be surprised if they got Odell just because that receiving core would – it would be the best ever, easily. Oh, with Odell and Antonio, Antonio Brown? Odell, Antonio Brown, Mike Evans, and Chris Godwin. Godwin. I think and then you throw in people like – yo, like let's be honest. Scotty Miller and Tyler Johnson are number three receivers at a lot of places. Heck, Scotty Miller – and Tyler Johnson, I'm, if you put them on the 49ers today, they are the third best receiver, either of them. Yeah. They're both better than Mo Sanu. They're both better than Juwan Jennings. And for the Packers, they'll they be up there. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But And then the other option, too, is the Saints. I just don't understand this from OBJ side. Why would he want to go to the Saints? Maybe he's a fan. Yeah. Does he want to catch passes from Taysom Hill? I don't imagine. And then the Saints side of things, um, do they want to have him and, and Michael Thomas on the same team at the same time? That just sounds like the number 13. Yeah, I don't know. That would be a that would I would not like to be another receiver in that locker room with them, but I don't know. Uh LA Rams, maybe this would be interesting. I, Although, I so I thought I thought he would want to go to the Rams, honestly, just because of LA and whatever. And I was pretty nervous about that as a Niners fan. But him, Stafford, Cooper Cup, and Robert Woods would be fun to watch with Van Jefferson. But there's been no buzz about the Rams and him. Maybe this is a classic Rams where there's no buzz. There's buzz on the last day, and the Rams get the deal done as usual. But I, I don't feel that this is one that the Rams are going to get. And I, I think the Rams are pretty convinced and uh, have great conviction in what they have right now. And then someone, someone too is asking about Baltimore. I don't see Baltimore. I don't see why he would want to go to Baltimore run heavy team. They just drafted their hopeful number one and Rashad Bateman. And we, we slandered Hollywood Brown a lot, but he's actually been really good for the last season and a half. He has been really good. And I think as him as your number two or three, you also have Mark Andrews. That's, I think those three right there is probably good enough on a team that's run oriented heavily. So yeah, this one actually makes sense to me. I just haven't seen any buzz about it. But I think him with Herbert, Mike, uh, uh, Mike Williams, and uh, Keenan Allen would be filthy. I I just haven't seen any buzz about it. And I, I OBJ doesn't strike me. He already spent time with the Browns. Why would he want to go to an even smaller market with the Chargers? Yeah, it doesn't seem like a move he would like, but that would be a really good fit too. But. Yeah, I mean, we don't know, Dell. We just are speculating, but yeah. Mm-hmm. 